Mother has filed a lawsuit following the death of her son at a middle school not equipped with portable defibrillators. 17's Jason Galvin is here now with details of the case, which were revealed this morning. Jason? Jim, the law offices of Chain Cone Styles filed a lawsuit today on behalf of 13-year-old Jose Beltran's family. Beltran died in January at Cecil Avenue Middle School after his heart stopped. The lawsuit says school employees failed to summon medical attention in a timely manner. It says staffers called an off-site school nurse first, delaying help from 911. When authorities were called, the lawsuit says the call was directed to Northern 911 in Canada, which resulted in delayed medical treatment. Lawyers say more than 10 minutes elapsed before the nurse arrived, only to find no efforts to resuscitate Beltron had been taken. The main thing is to listen to him. It's already something to go crazy. But um, I think we are strong as a family. and. He gave us a lot of strength from there, where he is now. I don't want this to happen to any other family, any other parent, you know, go visit our son in the, in the cemetery. The lawsuit names the Delano Union School District, City of Delano, County of Kern, and State of California as defendants, as well as District Nurse Sylvia Kleins, School Clerk Estefania Guzman, and teachers Jessica Ramirez, Omar Solis, and Judith Moda. The district released the following statement through its attorneys. It reads, quote, We have not yet seen the actual lawsuit that we understand was filed today with regard to Jose Beltran's death. However, we have received some information regarding the circumstances surrounding Jose collapse. We have received no information that suggests that any school district personnel caused or otherwise contributed to Jose's collapse in class. Our fact gathering has really just begun and we will reevaluate information as it is obtained with regard to the issue of the school district's liability. The Delano Union School District still does not have AEDs in its schools. Jason Galvin, 17 News.